I am so happy that you're able to join us for this extended interview. Make sure to visit theoffbeatlife.com. Again, that's theoffbeatlife.com to get more killer resources. Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming back for our extended interview with Danielle where she's going to share with us how you too can hit your first five-figure month with a travel brand. Hey Danielle! Hi, how are you? I am great. Thank you so much for being here and for giving us tips. Before we do that though, can you tell us a little bit more about you and why you live an offbeat life? Sure. So my name is Danielle and I am the founder of The Wander Lover. It's a travel brand sharing adventures from around the world, but also inspiring other people to define their life the way they want to, which means not being in a corporate job if you don't want to, or building your own side hustle, or being an entrepreneur. And the backstory is I used to work a nine to five in New York City and realized the lifestyle the direction I was going wasn't right for me. And I chose to leave and travel and build my own brand. And here I am. I can work from my laptop and could not be happier. That is pretty much the dream life that most of us want to live, right? And Danielle, you did it in such a great way because you were really prepared for it. And now you're able to make money from your passion, from what you love to do. And you're going to share with us some of your tips on how you're able to earn your first five figure month. Can you tell us how you were able to do that and some of the tips that will help us do the same as well? Mm -hmm. So first off, I quit my job July 11th of 2017. (laughs) It's like a monumental day of my life that (laughs) I keep track of. But so right now it's um it's been a little over two years, but this July, so exactly two years after, that was when I was able to hit over five figures with the Wander Lover. So A, it didn't come instantly and I had to work really hard for it and learn a lot of what goes in and out of negotiating and landing clients. In the beginning, I will say one of my biggest mistakes that I see a lot of people doing, including myself, is working for free. And that didn't obviously didn't last a long time because I realized with content creation, with photos, with videos, it takes time and my time isn't free. So realizing that A, I needed to not only charge, but charge at the rate I deserved for the work that I produce, it gave me the confidence to really charge higher than what I even thought was possible (laughs) in my terms, I guess. But as an entrepreneur, you really need to be able to negotiate a high rate for yourself and know what you're capable of bringing. The second piece of advice I would give to really skyrocket your income is to introduce new income streams. So I recently actually just watched this documentary saying how like Michael Jordan, he is a really famous basketball player, and he's a billionaire. But he didn't become a billionaire because of playing basketball. Basketball made him a millionaire, and what gave him the extra sources of income were his sponsorships, were his own entrepreneurial ventures like e-commerce or selling his own products. And so same thing with any self-made brand, in this case, The Wander Lover. I don't only rely on sponsorships or working with travel brands. I also have affiliate marketing on my blog. I have Instagram ads running. I have Facebook ads and I introduce other products and services under the Wander Lover. And the last thing that helped me get to five figures in a month is introducing mentors or a community of people doing the same thing, really helping me get to where I want to be. So in the beginning, I would say I was a one-person team working on every facet of my business by myself. But in the past year, I got help where I needed it. I hired groups. I hired coaches. I entered so many different online courses and just spent a lot and invested a lot in learning and finding shortcuts to where I want to be. And I really think that's the secret to like my income growth in the past few months. 
Yeah. So let's go back to when you decided to do content creation for other companies and not just for your brand. When you're traveling around, right, and you have a client, for example, in New York City and you have to take photos, how are you able to keep that steady when you're going off to London or Bali? So it's a lot about timing. And I actually have a calendar of who I'm working with, but also when the product would arrive and when the dates I would be available to shoot are. And then I kind of have to line up all my brands and figure out whether their product would arrive in time. And if not, I have to coordinate with them to either have it shipped internationally or there's been a couple instances where I ask my friends or family to like ship a product to me because it would have just been more cost effective that way to have them kind of cover that. So it's a lot of coordination, but being on top of it and really keeping everything organized helps a lot. Yeah, it's definitely something that you have to be very aware of when you're working on your own as an entrepreneur and also if you're traveling a lot because that's so much more upkeep for you as well. So having that is such a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) Now, talking about how you negotiate and price, how are you able to set your price and negotiate properly so you get the right type of salary for yourself and for your business? Mm -hmm. So a lot of it in the beginning was looking at what my competitors charged. So as an influencer, yes, I'm posting on Instagram, but a lot of times I'm also creating campaigns for certain hotels or certain brands, right? And so I was actually not only able to look at what other influencers were charging, but even content creation agencies or video production agencies. Because I guess before this whole influencer marketing thing started, I realized hotels would hire these video or photo production agencies to really shoot their campaigns for them. And that's the photos and videos they would use on billboards and magazines, on their website. And essentially, like I'm doing the same job. And so I should be paid accordingly because I have the expertise, I have the reach, and I have all the equipment and the portfolio of brands I've worked with in the past. So through a lot of trial and error and kind of pushing and seeing what the budget was or seeing how much I could charge while still landing this gig, it really helped. And now I'm confident in just knowing this is what I need to charge. Yeah. I think I also see a lot of people just being okay with free stuff. Like you're going to get, as you get further on with your business and career in this, you're going to get a lot more people coming to you and saying, hey, we would like to do a collaboration with you. We'll give you some free products and you'll post this or wherever. And I often find that people are afraid to ask for money, even for those people who are doing that. And I can't tell you how many times that brands have come up to me doing that. Mm -hmm. And I actually ask for their marketing budget and I get paid. So you will never know whether they're going to pay or not if you just leave it at that, you say no to them or you do it for free. Always ask because you never know what's going to happen. Simple like, do you have a budget or does your team have a budget? Yeah, it's very, very simple. And I think a lot of people are very much afraid to even just ask. And if you don't ask, you're never going to know what can happen. Mm -hmm. And it's also the mentality that your time is so valuable. Like your time is limited. And if the product is worth like a hundred dollars and you spend hours like creating the setting and like even buying new things to add to your photo, just like the whole campaign creation Like, are you really saying a day's work or two days work is worth like what the product is without even getting paid for it? So really like think in terms of how much value your own time has. Yeah, that's so important to understand that because you are, you're so valuable. There's only one of you, especially in the beginning. So you really have to make sure that what you're doing has a real purpose for your business. Mm -hmm. Now, you talked about finding prices from other content creators and even agencies. How did you find those prices? How did you look for them? I asked. A lot of times I just asked. Not everyone is willing to share. 
But if you do quick Google searches too, it's easier for agencies if you look at price lists. Not a lot, but like a few of them will have packages up. Some I was able to download as a PDF. So they'll have like a few different package options with videos, photo prints, and I kind of gauged what they were offering. One that really helped was one video producer and he had three different packages for hotels. And it really gave me a sense of like what experienced people in this industry pre content creators or pre-influencers were already doing and offering. Yeah, I think having packages is very crucial to creating different types of budgets for your potential clients as well, because you're not just giving them one option, you're giving them several ones that they could choose from. And I think that works so well Mm -hmm. and it'll get you a client for sure. Most of the time, it's like 80% of the time you will get a client from that because you are playing to any of their budgets. Like you're being flexible and also it shows that you have experience where you're able to cater to a wider audience. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Danielle, for giving us all of these different tips. I'm so excited. And before we go, I just wanted to let everyone know that Danielle and I co-wrote a book with Blank Room. Can you tell us a little bit more of the book, Danielle, and where our audience can find it? Sure. I have it right in front of me. The book is called (laughs) Branding Quickies. It's beautifully designed, (laughs) but it's a collection of 20 different badass women killing it in the branding game. So all of us, we have our own businesses, our own projects that we've created and we're able to make an impact and a difference. We share our struggles. We share our biggest pieces of advice, all of our stories. And I guarantee there is something useful for everyone if you're trying to start your own brand or start your path as an entrepreneur. Highly recommend. It's on Amazon. Please go check it out. Perfect. Now, Danielle, if our listeners want to know more about you, where can they find you? Sure. You can DM me. I'm super responsive in my DMs at The Wander Lover. You can send me an email at danielle at thewanderlover.com or check out my website, thewanderlover.com. Perfect. Thank you so much, Danielle, for being here today and for giving us so many incredible tips. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you enjoyed this extended interview.